and welcome to this Thimble Bell tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a peacoat stitch. This is an easy stitch that adds a nice little design element to whatever project you got going. There's two different ways that you can do this stitch and both ways are perfectly acceptable. They just look a tad different. So to start off, I'm going to do a single crochet and then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Now the first way you can do this is you can insert your hook into the single crochet that you made, the little V in the front there. And that'll put three loops on your hook. Then you just yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And then single crochet into the very next stitch. And I'll single crochet into one more just to give a little space here so you can see it good. All right, see the little peacoat? Kind of cute, huh? Now let's see that stitch again. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Then I'm going to insert my hook into the V in the front of that single crochet that I made. And that puts three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all three of those loops and then single crochet into the very next stitch and that'll complete it. And I'm going to go ahead and do one more just so my hook will be out of the way so you can see it good. See? Right cute. Alright, now let's see the next way to do a peacoat. Like we did before, you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Only this time I'm going to insert my hook into the back side of that first chain that I made. So I'm going to flip it over and insert my hook into the back of that chain, yarn over, pull through, then pull through my loop that was already on my hook, single crochet into the very next stitch, and that'll complete it. But I'll go one more just so my hook will be out of the way. See? It's just a little taller and it seems to have just a little bit more space in between it. But it's still right cute. Let's see that one more time. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Then on the first chain that I made, I'm going to turn it around and insert my hook into the back side of that chain. Yarn over, pull through, pull through the loop already on my hook. Then single crochet into the very next stitch. And there you have it. That's how you, the two different ways that you can do a peacoat stitch. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial, and if so, please subscribe to the channel or visit the website www.thimblebell.com for more nifty ideas. Thanks so much for watching, y'all!